Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. This is a video response to my good friend Mark from the Nuggets of Truth channel, and it's about your vacuum sealer, Mark. Now, I've tried to, or well, I've tried to word this in an email, but I thought it would be much easier just to do a demonstration, uh, you know, video um, response. So, basically, you're asking me about replacement bags for your vacuum sealer. Now, what I have noticed, this is your uh, your video. What I have noticed is you only have a small uh, vacuum chamber here, which is about two inches long. Now, uh, there may be a problem with certain types of replacement bags. Uh, if I show you this one, this is my um, this is my vacuum sealer, and what what I've got here is a full size vacuum chamber what happens is this area presses against this area and the whole area becomes one big vacuum chamber which means when you take a standard or any kind of vacuum sealer bag you place it uh, inside the chamber what happens is the entire chamber will draw air from the bag anywhere along the length of the bag which is exactly what um, your vacuum sealers do now you have to buy very specific bags for vacuum sealers um, Basically, I've got two types here. These are used bags, they're a bit crinkled up. But uh, you've got two types. Now, you've got this type, which is quite readily available on eBay. And what happens is it, each bag has um, like an embossed pattern pressed into it. And this one has got two stripes of embossment going down here, like so. But it's very, very clear in the middle, which means you've just got very smooth plastic uh, pressing against itself. Um, so it's smooth on both sides. Um, in the middle bit. Now the middle bit is where your vacuum hose is going to be so you may have a problem with this type of bag because what's going to happen is if you put that into your vacuum chamber, I know it does seal along except for the bit where it's drawing the air out but um, there's no embossment in the area that the thing needs to be able to draw the uh, air through. So I think if you're going to go for replacement bags you're going to have to go for this design which um, means that there is embossment right the way across the width of the bag. So, um, I mean, I'll show you this one. This, this one is, um, let me just turn the camera around. This one's dead smooth on this side, but if you flip it over, you can see it's, it's see that embossing sort of um, texture on there? And all that means is when it's pressed down, uh, you know, when, when the bag is, is pressed firmly down, air can still escape from the bag throughout. So I think um, your vacuum sealer will be perfectly fine, but you need to get this kind of bag and not this type of bag where you've got the embossment going down two sides and you've got the, the smooth plastic in the middle. Uh, you need to have embossed plastic in the middle section, which is where your small vacuum chamber uh, exists. So I was really struggling to put that in sort of email words, so hopefully the video response uh, is gonna be a little bit more clear. So anyway, that was it. Hope that was useful. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.